Look, I've already primed my face and done my brows because I want to focus on like, I don't know, my highlighter and my eyes more than anything because that's the main part of this look and obviously lipstick. So for my eyes, I'm literally going to prime them with the, oh my god, where is it? The Revolution Conceal and Define in the really, really white one and just quickly blend it in because my eyelids just... Yeah, I don't prime them, I use concealer, it's so much better. So I prime my eyelids, I'm going to start with the Huda Mauve palette and just use the really, really white one at the bottom just as a base colour. I mean, I love this. Also, I've got something really cool to show you guys that might actually be a game changer or a life changer because I think it is and I literally love it and I completely forgot all about this till I purchased it a while ago. And I feel like I should share it with you guys again as of since I've got like new subscribers on here. And yeah. But here's the game changer. I bought this colour cleanse thing. So instead of washing your brushes and running out when you're doing a huge makeup look or any makeup look, you literally rub your brush in it like this and then you can reuse it. It's sort of a lazy way and you can just turn it over when it's a bit dirty. And you just wash it with warm soapy water. It is great and it cost me like £2 on Amazon or eBay. It's so worth getting and it actually does work. So I kind of want to do is more of a pinky purpley autumn look because I've seen a lot of people doing oranges and that but I'm going to go more of a pinky purpley sort of look oh my god look my Pandora bracelet is stuck it always gets hooked on my hair um I'm gonna start with this hmm, gingerbread color in the Roxy palette the revolution one and just use it as like another sort of base color to start with and just blend it out where has my brush gone I have it I'm just going to like dye it on because it comes out really, really nicely. Oh, this is a nice colour. I rate this. I feel like I'm going to be using that gingerbread shade a lot. It is so nice. So I'm going back in with the Huda Move one. And I'm going to go in with this sort of like ready tone at the bottom. And oh my god, that's like an individual individual eyelash up to the bottom. I'm just going to add this over the top just to give it more of an, like a pinky red tone. Because I love autumnal looks. They are my favourite to do. It's literally, oh my god, it's coming out, oh, that blend. I just can't. I'm, like, feeling this today. The thing is, it's a really hot day, so I'm going to be going out with this on. So, the next shade I'm going in with is actually in another palette. It's the Extra Spice one by Soph, which is one of my holy grails. I'm going to use Enchanted, which is a deeper purple. And if you're from the UK and you have a palette near you, go find this blending eyeshadow brush because, oh my god, I'm shook. It is so good. And I highly recommend it, especially if you're just starting out with makeup so you don't have to spend loads. Like, I'm not starting out with makeup, but honestly, it is a lifesaver. Oh my god, this is going to build up so nicely. I love building up colours and getting that different, like, blending going on. Like, the different shades. Oh, it's so nice. I rate this. Oh my god. I'm actually well happy with my makeup. I'm going back in with the Huda Mauve. I'm going to try this deeper purple just to layer up a bit and see if this makes much of a difference okay it does it's really made it a really nice sort of purpley look with a bit of brown in it and i rate this it's sort of made like i don't know sort of like a smoky eye i don't really do smoky eyes very often because let's be real i can't do for the last bit of this like build up i'm gonna go back in with the soap uh, extra spice and use brownies because it's a very deep like brown obviously and I'm just going to add this a little bit. I'm just going to dab it on just so it gives it a bit more definition. You can really see the build up the colours and it's so nice. I actually love this. I'm so excited to see what the final look comes out like. Why is this corner always so awkward? Anyone else get that with small eyelids? Sounds like there's beef outside. I love being nosy. I'm going in with the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and I'm going to try and give myself somewhat of a cute cut crease. Well, not cut crease, like a half cut crease because I'm not feeling the full one today. Oh, yeah, a little trick is if you blink when you've got concealer on, you can see where you need to like cut your crease to and it's really, really easy. I do this quite a lot. I appreciate how neat this cut is today on my half cut crease. I literally love this. I'm going to go back in with Enchanted and I'm literally going to 
dab my brush in it I'm making sure I've got enough and I'm gonna build up the corner and make it sort of more of a smoky so it blends in oh my god this is gonna look so nice I'm so excited so I've brought the color up quite far in this is going so well and I'm gonna go and get another palette because I want to try this glitter out and fingers crossed it goes okay before we start with another palette this oh my god you can't see it is my new tattoo it is a sunflower I've now joined it onto the other one it's a really awkward angle to show you guys but I will pop a picture on Instagram at some point this week and I'm also going in with the Jeffree Star Morph palette and I'm using Millions which is this proper like goldish tone oh my god i'm so excited to use it i think i'm actually gonna use i don't know what brush to use i'm gonna use this flat brush from palmand and hope for the best and if not i'm gonna use my fingers because i find it's so much easier i'll see how this goes because it's actually quite thick bits of glitter try this one it's a bit of a bigger flat brush and hopefully it will work Oh my god, I'm so scared. I haven't worn glitter in so long. Setting glitter scares me. Oh, if you don't have this palette, another review. I did review it the other day. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out. Oh my god, this glitter is so easy to use as well. Like, I used to use loose pigments and it just never went well. There's barely any fallout of this, just the one or two bits because I put too much on. Um, oh my god guys look at this glitter like the swatches are amazing but it's stuck to my concealer well it hasn't really budged it hasn't obviously I'm doing a half cut crease anyway so it's not gonna go on my eyelids or like spread it about but I'm gonna quickly set that using my Mario Badescu spray because I've heard this is also a setting spray and it's gonna hydrate my face and I'm gonna quickly pop some foundation on and I'll be right back. So I've actually had to put my hair back so I don't get any foundation in my head so I've just washed it. I've put my foundation on using the Bourjois Healthy, Healthy what? Healthy Mix. I had to think then. And um, mine's in vanilla. I'm going in with the Revolution Matte Base Powder and I'm gonna try this pan lamp brush out. Um, let's give this a go. There's quite a bit of fallout that comes out of this. But I need to mattify this down so it stays down all day because I'm out for quite a few hours and I mean I just want to look cute I wasn't expecting to go all out but I thought you know what it's nearly autumn people are bringing their videos out so let's go for it so for once I'm going to contour using the imagination uh, palette and I'm using can't deal and warrior I sort of mix between the both of them and I mean I can't contour because I have really chubby cheeks it's kind of hard and I also have a really round face, so I never know where to contour. I just hope for the best that my cheekbones look somewhat better. Oh my god, I have cheekbones and a somewhat of a jawline for once. So I'm going to use the GWA Fantasy Lashes. I'm going to go and pop these on and I'll be right back because I take ages doing lashes. I get frustrated and I'm scared they won't go on with the amount of glitter I've got on my eyelids. I've had this problem before, so I'll probably be back in like 10 hours. But yeah, I am not even joking. I have had an absolute nightmare trying to put my makeup, uh, my makeup, my eyelashes on. They just weren't having it. So I kind of like buggered the look a bit, but it's still really, really nice. I'm going to pop some highlighter on and just going to find my brush. I'm going to go with my Pan Am Fan one. I'm using the Revolution Lace Highlighter. It is gorgeous. You need to get this if you don't already have it i'm using number one and three in it and oh my god it is so pigmented i literally love this oh my god it's so hot outside i don't know how i feel about warm weather today because i don't know what to wear so for the last bit of this look i'm using the Too faced melted in chocolate it's literally melted chocolate i believe it's called oh it's called chocolate honey it's sort of a brownie tone and it just goes so well. It's quite a glam look, but I mean, you've got to start full with a bang and a bit of glitter. I literally love this look. I'm so pleased with how it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.